My name is Simon, founder of Streamline Tech Studios. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make 20% more sales within the next 60 days by streamlining consistent content. This process that I'm about to show you is a step-by-step -step instruction to get more sales into your business, all for creating short forms and creatives for you to post online. This is for companies who want to see a desired outcome and scale their business overall. Here are the results for my past clients, D Shaved Eyes, who 3x their average view count, and another one with Reggie Bryant, getting tens of thousands of views on average within 60 days of working with us. So the overall goal in terms of production is to create highly engaging short form content preferably within the 15 to 30 second range. The number of reels we would be producing are as listed, three 30 second short form reels, three 15 second creative reels, and six content posts. These content posts could include pictures of your product or service, interviews with your employees or yourself as business owners, promos, or an overall introduction of what you guys provide as a service or a product, either vertical or horizontal formats. So in total, we have six reels that you need to produce per month and six content posts that you need to produce per month. This is the bare minimum to get results for your business. So this is the ETE streamlined process that includes six steps. First step is planning, then setting it up, recording, editing, exporting, and then delivery, all within these six steps. It is essential to have a script and to plan for the products you intend to showcase. For your situation as a food and beverage company, it would be any type of food and beverage product. This step shows the foundation of how your videos will appear. Remember to include hooks and engaging graphics within the video script and manage storytelling throughout the video whether the content is short form or long form. You can use AI tools such as GBT4 for some good references. This will take some time, but don't worry, this is completely normal since this is the most important step to build the foundation of your videos. Next, we'll move on from the planning step to the setup. In terms of what gear you need, you can get away with only an iPhone and it will work, but having external LED lights, tripods, and other backgrounds will make your videos much better in terms of quality. So in this stage, you have to set up the gear to where it feels most appropriate for your product or service. So if you have set up the lights, the cameras and the background. So next here is recording slash filming. When filming your product, ensure the object stays within the frame. Stabilize your camera as much as possible using either a gimbal or end a tripod, unless you're filming transitions for later use in post-production. Consistently shoot B-roll of the product, capturing everything planned in your script. During production, you will need to manually adjust exposure to fit the setting when using a camera. Avoid overexposing or underexposing. If you do those things, then the footage will look washed, either too gray or too dark, or the footage could be too bright. For beginners who haven't mastered exposure for your cameras, either take the time to learn it or use auto exposure in your camera settings. However, be aware that auto exposure, especially in iPhones, will lead to inconsistent colors in your B-roll. This will most likely lengthen the amount of time you have to edit during post-production. Remember, when you're filming, you have to film for the edit to use your time more efficiently, which grants you more content to post overall which will lead to an increase in sales and engagement. After filming, you'll need to take your footage and offload it. Depending on the size of the file on how long you recorded, either if you recorded in 4K or 1080p, this will typically take up to 30 minutes to two hours. Next, after all that's done, you'll need to set your timeline accordingly. As for the editing softwares that you want to use, you can edit in CapCut, which is a software on your phone, or you can edit in Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro which are softwares in your computer. There are also quick templates that you could use that are built into Instagram and TikTok, but I would still heavily recommend those three softwares. First things first, in the editing process, you would need to set up your timelines accordingly. You would need layers for overall music for the video. You should first pick the type of music that you want to have in your videos, which heavily depends on what story you want to tell. You will need to edit the B-roll around the music's beats. Picking the right audio cues and music is very important and is 50% of the video. When you have bad audio, the whole video will suffer and the audience won't be able to watch or stay engaged because of that. Next would be importing and cutting 
B-roll around the music's beats. Be sure to add transitions and graphic layers to make your cuts stand out more and more. Make sure you slap in slow-mos and speed ramps. After all that's done, moving forward, you would have to warp stabilize and do color correction on your footage. This will be the final steps to touching up and finishing up your video. Before you begin the final steps of the process, be sure to triple check your work. Ensure that your videos do not need any more revisions after checking two or three times. It's very important to not export the video unless you have gone over it several times to catch any mistakes or issues, etc. When exporting, I would recommend formatting your video at 1080p, even if you recorded your video in 4K, because most social media platforms do not support 4K just yet. Plus it will make your videos so much more sharper. You'll need to have a hard drive and organized folders to store these videos. You have to keep everything organized. When delivering the video, insert titles and captions, create thumbnails, for your content posts using resources like Canva or Adobe Photoshop. Then you could schedule them to whatever platform you desire. You can schedule each content so that you won't have to do it manually. It will just be running on autopilot. Be sure to link your Shopify, landing page, website, and whatever page you are trying to direct them to. You can use one or two of these videos to help set up your Facebook slash Instagram ad creatives. Just a side note to make sure your page is active and post consistently per month. It's all about quality and consistency to provide your customers and potential customers with something to see. Engage what your business is all about. So that's how you could get results by doing content creation. You can do this by yourself and it might take a lot of time, maybe even months or years of learning how to edit, how to script, buying the right cameras and equipment and overall setup, or you could work with us where we could take the whole process A to Z done for you from scripting to providing content for you to use immediately where you don't even have to lift a single finger and you will just get straight results. I have a calendar linked below to book a call with us, or you could reply to my email and I'll get you on a scheduled call. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a great day and find this content informative. Peace.